What's up, Auto 3 Garage? As you can see, I am on this bad boy again and finna be dropping another video probably tonight. I don't know. But as y'all can see, y'all can hear that click. So I got it in reverse. This is me like pressing the brake and all that. And I still don't have no indication on here. So, I mean, until then, we get that other gear selected, man, we're gonna go from there. Uh, but I think the goal is for tonight is just to remove this. Um, that's just pretty much it. I already know we're gonna have to probably take all of this out by right here. So, really excited about that. See how everything go. But when I, I let the car run, run for like a good minute. Um, I know I need to get that belt on. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, temp and all that been staying good. Uh, just letting the temp get up. So I can recheck the um, transmission fluid, which I will do in a bit. Um, and that's just pretty much it. So let me just move this out right here. Uh, I already moved <coughs> this piece right here out. And I'm gonna clean up everything. Um, this car is like filthy nasty, y'all. And I do not like my cars dirty and all that. I like everything clean, uh, but you know, when something just been sitting over a month, you been, you know, worried about other certain things and stuff, you know, things like that just happen. So, yeah. I'll see y'all. Guys, I gotta make sure I be careful because I broke these little clips right here, but I'm gonna uh, plastic well all this. Well, the ones I broke, so I just gotta be real careful taking this apart. So, as y'all can see, the thing is lifting up. So guys, under this little mat right here, we got two Phillips screws. I ain't gonna lie about yanking this thing out, but good thing I didn't. I took my time and all that. And this thing should slide right out. I'm gonna put this inside the house and all that. All right guys, so we got the whole inside torn apart. Now the only thing we have to do is just remove that bootleg shifter right there. So guys, we are removing these four bolts, which have this security hole. I can get to it. All right, got four of them out. Now we just need to remove these two right here which are Allen heads. So guys, we're using the three sixteenths to remove uh, these three Allen heads. Uh, two, one right here, no, one right here, another one right here, and then the other one is right here uh, in the middle. As you can see right there. So I'm gonna end up taking her out. I can watch me. Don't look like it when it come out. I need to figure something out. So guys, we got it everything out. We got the old shifter right here. Probably gonna just take it apart and look at it. So guys, this is the gear shifter right here. So guys, just based off of specting it, we do got some exposed wires right here, as y'all can see. And I'm finna look up this part number to see what it is. Uh, this is uh, pretty damn interesting, I'm not gonna lie. So, um, I guess whatever position this is in, this will send signal to this uh, small little board right here. Cause it's where it hook up at. So it's pretty intricate, pretty neat. So I'm gonna see, let's look up this part number right now. And by the way, this was real easy and I lost the clip, so I might have to order that clip now. Hopefully not. But yeah, I've tried looking for it and I can't. 
And uh, one more thing. This is also where you uh, switch between winter or summer mode. So, yeah. So, guys, after looking up these part numbers, I only get this whole assembly. I guarantee, like, this whole piece of crap right here is uh, worn out. I'm guessing this has got to be like the, the sensor when it tells it if it's in the gear or not. I know if you push down this piece right here, you were able to move from part to drive easily. But I'm glad I'm getting a new one coming in. Uh, we're going to, you know, change it and see it. Uh, fingers crossed and we'll be able to clear the codes and all that. But this is an indication right here. And then... This piece right here is possibly suspect, um, but other than that, I mean, oh shoot, other than that, uh, we just got to wait till the part come in before we put everything in, and I still got to look in the car for that clip right there, so hopefully I don't got to order one, or probably see if, you know, others on it, don't carry it, but I doubt it. But I hope y'all have a good night. This was just a, uh, you know, quick video on this bad boy here. And that's pretty much it. We just need to clean this car up. Y'all, it's a whole mess. Get for a good detail. Good, good, good detail. All right, though, if y'all are uh, new, sub in. Uh, share, like, comment, or whatever. Um... Hopefully this be helpful, might not, um, cause you might not own this car or nothing, but you know, at least this video going to be put out for somebody to come across. So good thing I already did the conduct the plate and all that. Good thing I, you know, went with the Transgo kit and good thing, you know, we changed the fluid and all that, you know, uh, this car only got 145,000 miles. So, I mean, yeah, it ain't bad or nothing. So, I'm probably just going to keep maintenance on that. Anyway, I hope y'all have a good night. See y'all, man. Be safe.